What's up? Bathroom Chronicles. Yeah, I was just watching a video on YouTube uh, about interracial relationships. Now, as all y'all know, through slavery period that um, the white uh, overseers was able to rape the black woman. So I never really uh, like the fact that uh, white men on white, I mean, on black women, that, that I don't. But for the, I'm not going to say payback, but but for the black man to be on the white woman, now those white slave masters is turning in a grave right now. <laughs> but interracial relationships and marriages or whatever, how you want to call it. You can look at it as a mechanism of killing off the white race. Because as you know, that the white blood is a recessive blood compared to our blood. So silently, that's why they never allow um, black blood to mix with white blood back then. Because they knew that their blood was so um, recessive towards ours. And still today, that shit don't change. DNA is DNA. But, um, if this world was to get to be, uh, interracial relationships up and down, the white race will eventually fall off. And they kind of fear that. Even though if you don't want to look at it, look at it. Obama, half white, half black. Michelle, all black. What their kids look like. Black children. That white blood was just immediately damn near wiped away because it's recessive. You know, once it goes up against black blood, black is more dominant than white. That's just how it is. I don't make the rules. I, I didn't, I, I, I just know them, you know? So, um, that interracial relationship way, I'm going to say, Within the next century, if interracial relationships keep going as high as it is going, the white race is going to be the minority. Well, they're already the minority, but they will be the minority wiped off this damn earth, at least in the U.S. Like over in um, Europe, I don't know what the interracial numbering is over there or anywhere else for that matter. But here in America... The white race is about to be wiped off within the next 50 to 100 years if the if interracial relationships keep on growing. Because once that white and black mix and that child come out light skin and they gravitate to a black person, that white blood is wiped away. I mean, it's still in there, but it's pretty much gone. So that's the one way of us killing off the white race is through interracial relationships. I mean, I'm not saying that's the only way, but that's the low key way of doing it without getting in, without committing any, um, uh, without breaking any laws. You know, that's just how it is. You know, that's, that's human, uh, I don't even know what to call it. That's just human laws, I guess. But if you if you don't want to commit a sin by killing off somebody, just take a white person and mix blood with them through the black race and kill them off like that. Cause man, and, and, and even in the uh, gay ramification area, um, if you have ten. If you have 10 men, 10 black men, nine of them gay, one, one man is straight, but you got 10 women, 10 sisters, 10 black women, all 10 of them black women can have a baby within that year produced from that one black man. Now you flip that around and you have 
10 women, one straight man. And hold on, did I do that right? Flip that around. And if you have 10 black women, nine of them is gay, one straight woman and one black man, you're only gonna produce that one black baby within that year because all the other women are gay. They don't wanna have a child. So once homosexuality affect a woman entirely, then you kill off a race like that also. I don't know if people even think about it like that, but I go deep in my thoughts. And just like my man Dane Calloway say, I'm only here to make you think. Bathroom Chronicles. Peace out.